It's one of the best shows on television, and part of which, the uh, reason for which is because of its great cast. Liev Schreiber, who is, uh, many sports fans know, is the voice of Hard Knocks. John Voigt, Paula Malcolmson from Deadwood. Hank Azaria, longtime friend of this program, and my next guest, who plays Bunchy on the program. Uh, also um, on the program that uh, premieres Sunday, July 12th, available also on Showtime.com. Dash My Hawk. Good to see you, sir. Good How are you? you? I'm well, yourself? I am great. And I just said this for the television audience. I want to say it now that the radio audience has returned. Uh, I, I, I love the show. Your work in it is stellar. And my, my appreciation for your acting ability has gone through the roof. Now that I know you play such a Boston guy through and through, but deep down, if we cut you, the pinstripes come out in the blood. The pinstripes come out in the blood. Right? Am I right or am I yeah, wrong? Yeah, this was a very, um, I, 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 I don't think it's really in my contract, but I tell everybody mm -hmm. because um, uh, Pooch Hall is from Boston and mm -hmm. he always teases me, although he wears a Yankee hat all the time. But he says, we're gonna put you in, in Red Sox gear. And I said, no, it's in my contract, I can't wear it. <laughs> Can't wear Red Sox gear, and then they actually, and and look, I have I have all respect for Boston, and I've had a ball playing this guy, and I and I have much respect for the Boston fans, but there I was in season one, in episode six, and they're like, well, you have to burn this thing down, and and I said, well, what am I going to burn it with? And they had me burn a Boston Red Sox pennant mm -hmm. on the wall, mm -hmm. and I got to work that day, and I went. <laughs> Yeah. This is my job. <laughs> <laughs> I get to do this, and I got to practice it a couple times. Yeah. And so, no offense sure. to anybody, but uh, it was—it's it, my job's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Your job gets particularly fun mm -hmm. that day, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think of Alex Rodriguez not getting uh, an All-Star appearance this year with the uh, numbers that are potentially worthy of it, Dash? Uh, think I think you know, potentially worthy doesn't mean much these days. Mm -hmm. um, and Alex Rodriguez has. Some more, some fans to win back, and that's what that is. I yeah, mean, I know. His numbers are, are are definitely worthy, but I think he knew, you know, that he wasn't going to win back uh, that vote that that quick. Yeah, I mean, I I have had a you know a little bit of fun with this because coming into the season, I'm like, you know what, just keep your mouth shut yeah. and hit. And I would say that with, you know, uh, an air of seriousness, but also believing there's no chance he would actually do that, and that's what he's done. Yeah. Right from the beginning, he has sit. He's done everything right. I think he's done exactly what he needed to do: just be quiet and go out there and play hard and win some ball games and win some ball games and show people that he's a great player. Yeah, I know. And now, you know, it's the Yankees are are in this thing. We are in the, this thing. I love the we. Love the use of we right there. That's fantastic. I know. And you're holding up your Yankees hat right here uh, on the Rich Eyes. But show. see, there's a little red for the, the Boston people. No, but, no, that's an apple. But that right there is a great Yankee hat. Yeah, it's the red apple <laughs> with mm -hmm. a New York Yankee, the interlocking NY in you, between all of it. I won't tell you where you can get it because I want to be the only one. Do you want to be the only one wearing such yes. a thing? Exactly. Uh, I'm here with Dash Myhawk uh, uh, on the Rich Eisen show playing Bunchy on, on um, Ray Donovan that returns Sunday, July 12th on Showtime. You're also a Nick fan, correct? Are, yes. you, are you all right to admit that in, in public these days? Dash, you good with that one? Yeah, I'm still okay with that. Okay. <laughs> what yeah. do you think about uh, what's going down with your Knicks this uh, this off season so far? <sighs> Somehow, mm -hmm. I have to trust Phil. Somehow, I have to trust Phil Jackson. But wouldn't it be so Knicks if he just suddenly loses his fastball at the moment <laughs> that you need him to actually start throwing heat? Yeah. That would be so very New York. It Knicks. would be very New York Knicks. I, I, I you know. I've lived out in LA for for a little while now, yeah. and so I've got. It's okay for me to to, mm -hmm. to not think about the Knicks, right. focus on some of the teams out here and mm -hmm. watch some some better basketball. But my heart bleeds orange too. Now, yeah, well, you and Hank Azaria, your uh, your cast member, yes, sir. your friend over there at Ray Donovan, you could commiserate. We you guys all, could. We can all commiserate about he's, the Knicks. He he doesn't know what the heck's going on. No. I, I, you know, I, I'm kind of over even thinking that mm -hmm. I, I rarely get my hopes up anymore. Right. I really rarely do. What's I it? go, oh, they, what about the, they're, they're going to be great. They got this and this is going to mm -hmm. happen. I go, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll see. What's it like working with John Voigt? What's that like? Oh, it's fun. You know, John is, um, he's a real gentleman and he's, uh, and he's, uh, he's a hoot. He's, he's always 
trying something uh, that's, you know, he always wants to bring Mickey larger than life and... and, and but he does a pretty darn good job of that. He does, <laughs> he does. And, they, and there's some decent writing for him. Yeah. This is okay. Right. Right, and and he is, I mean, he's a legend. John Voight's a legend. He is a legend, and he very much um, treats us with the utmost respect, even though, given his status and his career, uh, he treats everybody with, with, with a lot of respect and really uh, supports us in making the show. Yeah, basis. I know. I mean, I, I, look, I know you're a professional. I, I'd be just a fanboy there. I'd, I'd hit him up about Midnight Cowboy. You should. I'd, I mean, we I should just, have him on, and we can talk I, I, about. It. He has can, great stories about Midnight Cowboy. Oh, they, his own stunts where he falls down the stairs and and looks up at the camera. And if you remember Midnight Cowboy, I do. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, are these safe for work? These Midnight Cowboy stories. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, because that was that was rated X yeah. back in the day. Different story now. Mm, I mean, I would probably get that'd be PG thirteen right well, now. Well, for Ray Donovan, it would be, it'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Ray Donovan returns uh, to Showtime this uh, this coming Sunday, July twelfth on Showtime. Uh, available on Showtime.com as well. Uh, previous seasons. So uh, you are also working on a hip hop album at age forty one. Is that a true story? That's a true Dash? story. I I waited um, <clears throat> for many many years. Uh, and I said, you know, on my 40th birthday, I thought, it's time to re <laughs> release my hip-hop album as a white rapper from New York. Yep. So who is, who is your mentor in, in this? Um, you know, I think 90s New York East Coast hip-hop is my, is my, my go-to. Okay. And so I think that I bring that flavor kind of back. And honestly, look, you know, I make fun about it, but... I, I've always loved this kind of music. I've always loved every kind of music, and I and I I felt like I'd be, I'd almost be inauthentic mm -hmm. if I didn't at least put myself out there and do it. And I and I have a ball performing, and um, and I think that people are responding to it so far. So what, what's the name of the the album that's going to be released this time? I can't tell you. What it, why? This is can't we? I'll break? tell you the name of the single. The single is called Love. Okay. And um, if you know me, I. I represent love a lot. I think that that's where I, I come from. So it's, okay. it's fitting that that's. The so single. why can't you tell me the name of the uh, of the? Album? Because it might be love, but it might be something else. Okay, so you haven't decided yet. Exactly. When it drops. <laughs> when it drops. And not to tell you what to do, because I'm I'm as far removed from this well, world as possible. Well, you tell me what would be a great album. No, maybe. no, no, no. But you said flavor, shouldn't it? Isn't it flavor? You know what I mean? Like you, you know. I mean, I'm, 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 well, I'm not saying. I'm just. still the 41 year old yes. <clears throat> actor in me. Yeah. I can switch it real quick and be like, yo, what's, you know, and do it. I you. play a lot of characters on the, yeah. and go crazy on my album, but yeah. uh, I don't think, I don't know if I ever say flavor. I might. Flavor. You, you might. Hold Maybe. on, let me try that again. Flavor. No, that works. Oh, hold on. Well, you know, <laughs> oh, there we go. Flavor. <laughs> Put that lid on like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do like All the right. way that you, you, you rock the lid right there. You yeah, know? or maybe that could be the name of your album, Flavor. Flavor. Yeah, just like that. Yes. I could come on and, and, and just be the anti-hip-hop <laughs> to your hip-hop. What music do you listen to? Oh, I'm an easy listener. Um, you know, I just hang in elevators and just, you know, hum to Karen Carpenter tunes. Okay. Well, See what I just said? Just like, that's the anti, what you were just talking about. I don't right know. There. You know, you haven't heard Oh, it God, yet. man. I'm around six, seven-year-old, four-year-old. Whatever so you guys I are... honestly know <laughs> the music that I'm hearing. I know the latest Ariana Grande song. Uh, I, I also know uh, Frozen soundtrack. Please, God, no. I don't want to do that. Don't play it. Don't but it's, play. this is the stuff that I'm surrounded by. I kids understand. Bop 28. I understand. And that's spelled with a Z, by Come the way, on. kids. I've been to your house, Sinatra, Tony oh, yeah. Bennett. Yeah. Well, when I have, you know, people, John Legend. I right. love John Legend. I love John, John Legend. John Legend's Legend. fantastic. But you're yeah. not. I mean, you were playing. What were you playing earlier? The Tic Tac Doe scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we were talking no, about no, game because, shows. But, but, but I. Mm -hmm. Watch that all the time. You are. Days. That's your. That's that's, that's our. That's, that's our that's bread and it. butter, man. We're right in yeah. there. So you know who Wink Martindale oh, is. Wink Martindale did everything. Of course. He was the best. Yeah. I used to whenever I stayed home sick, as much as I could, I watched Tic Tac Toe and whatever else, <laughs> whatever other games. Well, shows so were if on. you're from New York. Then yeah. you were watching Get Smart. Get Smart, 100%. When you were homesick, oh, yeah. uh, I, was, I would be watching Get Smart all the time. I'd be watching time. Quincy MD all oh, the time. Oh, yeah. Dun, Jack Klugman. There you go. 
That's why I'm making a hip hop album, people. And then you could be <laughs> the name, the name, the name of the album could be Quincy's favorite line, Quin which was always, "It was, it was murder." <laughs> Murder. He, he would always it look at he would look at the murder. body and it would be this long pause and he goes, it was murder. murder. Am I wrong? No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I've seen everyone. Dash my hawk <laughs> is here on the program. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next season of Ray Donovan. Good luck with that. Come Thank back you so anytime. Much. Appreciate Good to see it. You. you bet. Uh, a dash uh, Diz oh, Diz my Diz my hawk on Twitter. On Twitter okay. and Instagram. Spell with an I. Two two eyes. There are two eyes in, in Diz my hawk. No, just one. D I Z. M I H O K? Yeah, so that's two. Oh, two eyes in the whole thing. Yeah, you got it? <laughs> it was murder! <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience. <laughs>